Captain Tom Paris has requested your ship for a joint mission with his task force. I won't lie to you. We're not making much headway against the Iconians so far. You and your crew have proven to be capable of fighting them. Delta Flight is one of the only other teams to do so. Together, perhaps you can start to turn the tide. Report to the Cal Bryden system. Captain Paris and his team are waiting for you there. The war continues. You are cleared for transport at your convenience. Welcome to the USS Byrne. Normally I'm the security chief and second officer on the USS Kirk, but she took heavy damage during the battle in the Le Nas system. Until she gets out of dry dock, I and many of the crew accepted temporary postings to other ships. I wasn't expecting to get a request to join my father's task force, but Delta Flight is doing some good. I want to help. I'm looking forward to it too. I don't know what crazy scheme my father's cooked up this time, but the more off the wall his ideas are, the more they seem to work. With you on the team, I'm sure we'll complete this mission. But let me know if you need me to translate. Dad has this habit of talking in phrases that went out of style 400 years ago. I'm Kana Jinnis, the team scout. No one's better than I am at finding trouble. And believe me, I've found plenty. I uh, borrowed my first shuttle off a landing pad when I was 10. I didn't think I'd ever have a chance to join Starfleet. But luckily, people like Captain Paris can see the person behind the incident reports. Now I have a chance to make a difference. It's good to get a chance to know everyone on the team before the action starts. It's bad enough fighting the Herald. We don't need any interpersonal conflicts muddying the waters. You can count on me, sir, and I know I can count on you. Jolon True, do you understand ancient Earth humor? Paris, the older one, keeps asking me if I am two weeks from retirement. Is that supposed to be humorous? I thought so. Look, when things get messy out there, and they will. Stick with the team and keep your head down. If we work together, we might just get out of this in one piece. Most of us, anyway. Hello there. I'm Ferex, and I'm a... Well, I don't have a specialization like most of the others. But Captain Paris calls me the cook. I don't know why. I can burn water. But it seems to amuse him for some reason. I'm a traitor and blockade runner. Any place where there's conflict, there's usually a few good deals to be made. I wasn't too sure about leaving the Delta Quadrant, knowing the territory is a good part of staying alive, you know. But Tom convinced me. And except for all the Heralds trying to kill us, it's not too bad so far. You know, one of the things I've enjoyed the most about coming here is the opportunity to get to know people from other cultures. Klingons, Romulans, humans, Andorians, Betazoids. So many different and intriguing species. Say, after this mission, how about we grab a drink? And I can tell you about the third time I left Benth in custody and then broke through a Voth defense line to recover the lost chalice of Zazilma. Andrew Weston, all-around genius. Don't let the lack of pips on my collar fool you. I'm just as good as anyone from Starfleet. 
better even because I don't let the rules get in my way. I spent some time at the academy, but I left when I realized Starfleet wasn't for me. We're all stayed. Always wondered if things would have been different for us if she'd had the courage to walk away when I did. Moral and I had a good thing for a while, but I don't know if it would have worked. If you think her dad's trouble, you should meet her mother. That is a scary, scary woman. Anyway, my main focus is computers, specifically encryption algorithms. I've been studying the Iconian tech, and I think I've made some inroads into the fractals they're using for... <laughs> you know what? The details don't matter. When it comes to taking out Iconian security protocols, I'm the man for the job. Warrior, join with us and stab at the heart of the Iconians. We will either be victorious, or we race towards Stovacor. Today is a good day. I am the team's weapons expert. Most weapons on ships are too puny. I make them strong. Have you ever wondered what would happen if you loaded five quantum torpedoes into one casing? <laughs> you have to reinforce the tools, but the result is most satisfying. Thanks for coming. Nice to see you again, especially after what happened at New Romulus and Lanus. As you well know, the war is not going too well. Delta Flight is one of the ways we're trying to change that. We're a cross-faction team picked for our abilities, not our politics. Now the Alliance needs us to handle an important mission. I hate putting your crew at risk too, but we're gonna need you on this one. Oh, not much. We're just gonna slip into a heavily guarded system that the Iconians already control, avoid detection and probable destruction, steal a Solonet device that could give them a beachhead in our dimension and escape with our lives. Sound like fun? So this used to be Calbriden 3. Intelligence believes that the Iconians destroyed the planet to gather materials for a subspace disruption device. We think they intend to use this device to open a door for their Solonet forces to enter our space. A whole new fleet for the Iconians? We can't let that happen. Exactly. But the planetary debris has created an asteroid field, and the mineral content of those asteroids will shield us from the Iconian sensor arrays. I've plotted a course for us, but we'll still need to watch for the Herald patrols. The station with the device is in the center of the debris. Weston will override their computers while we run interference. Once the station shields are down, we'll eliminate it and the device with extreme prejudice. Is that another reference from that ancient program about impossible missions you like to watch? Uh, something like that. The Alliance doesn't have a fleet to send against this station. We're it. If we can't do it, no one can. So, no pressure. I hope you're all ready to do the best flying you've ever done, because that's what we're gonna need to complete this mission. Let's head them up and move them out. Dismissed. as Calbriden III, uninhabited, luckily, but they had high amounts of topoline, uridium, and boronite. When the boronite and uridium are combined and exposed to an electrical charge, they create spatially inverted tetrions, lots of spatially inverted tetrions. That's why the Heralds are here, to create a pocket of our space where the Solonet can survive. From there, they'll expand, and what's good for the Solonet is fairly terrible for us. The Heralds have set up a security beacon at the entrance to this system. We'll need to disable it before we can attempt to slip through this asteroid field. Okay. I need help inputting the proper subspace frequencies as I use my deflector dish to cycle through the possibilities. You'll need to match the alpha, beta, and gamma bands. 
With my subroutine scrambler, that should be enough to break through their security. HUD now try to stick to the path I've outlined the mineral content of the asteroids will shield us from the herald sensors try to stay in formation with the rest of the squadron Let's kick the tires and light the fires. I'm not sure what that means. Is it some kind of alpha quadrant thing? Kinda. I'll explain it later, Ferrix. Fire your proton packs, kids. The next turn is a tight one. Easy enough for a talented, handsome pilot like myself. Everyone's mom tells them they're handsome, Ferrix. Friendly fire! Ow, I'm wounded. Fewer asteroids through here. More chances of being spotted. Race you! Torpedoes red like and red! Sensors show that this asteroid is mostly hollow. If we blow through where the rock is thinnest, we can slip through without being detected. Fire in the hole! This reminds me of flying through Earth's space dock. <laughs> they don't like it when you do that at full impulse. Yeah. Uh, wait. Who let Ferrix fly inside ESD? Weston? No comment. Fasten your seatbelts. It's gonna be a bumpy night. Ha! I've flown through worse in the Badlands. Whoa, morale! Watch the paint job there, Tiger. Don't be a rear seat pilot. I think you mean backseat driver. But we're flying, uh, sir. Herald patrol up ahead. Take them out before they can warn the others. ship.
My team and the Burns crew have cleared most of the boarding parties, but there are still heralds trying to get to the bridge and more pinning me down near the armory. Head toward me. If we can team up, we can make a push towards the bridge. Fell back here to grab some phaser rifles and got bottled up by those heralds. Thanks for the help. The bridge crew has sealed off the bridge and locked the ship's computers down, but the heralds aren't giving up. All of the remaining boarding parties are moving toward the bridge. If we don't get there before the heralds break through, they'll slaughter everyone there and set the ship to self-destruct. Now that you and your team are here, we can clear out the remaining heralds, get to a turbo lift, and head to the bridge. Lock and load, everybody. It's time to save the day. Moral! Welcome to the party. We could use a little help. I think that's the last of them. What's our status? Your ship is damaged and you have crew in sick bay, Morale. I don't want any unnecessary casualties. I have great respect for your abilities, but if this is some sort of Klingon, glory seeking, never give up, today is a good day to die kind of thing. Everyone on this ship knew the risks when we started this mission, including me. The boarding parties are gone and we need to keep moving. We have to get to the station and finish our mission before we run into any more Herald patrols. As much as I hate to say it, you're right. If we live through this, your mom is gonna be so proud, but she's gonna think I was an idiot for trying to hold you back. That's if we live. What do we need to do to get your ship back up and running? I know a few of Andrew's tricks. Use one of his encrypted override codes to lock the heralds out of our computer so they couldn't take control of the ship. I could use some extra hands to get these systems restored. Good job on the computers, Moral, but... But Andrew? Did he teach you anything else that got him sent to a penal colony? That does it. Let's both get back to our ships and finish this. The Heralds are gonna notice one of their patrols is missing. Let's move.
Time to pick up the pace, people. I got some scans of those ships. Should give me an advantage when we get to the station. We're coming up on the center of their operations. Detecting Solanay energy signatures ahead. Ah, Solanay, ugh. They give me the creeps. Target the ships defending the station. Weston, you're up. We'll keep him busy. On it. Iconian energy signature detected. Evasive maneuvers. Pattern, Paris Delta 2. Andrew! We need to abort. We can't do this without Weston. I can do it. Andrew gave me a backup copy of his algorithms in case something happened. We're... We're falling back. Dad, I know you mean well. I have to do this. You know what will happen if the Solene can break through. We'll lose everything. Okay, Moral. You can be almost as stubborn as your mother, but I know when I'm beat. All right, people, you heard her. We're going in hot. Cover Moral's ship so she can finish this. We are Delta Flight, and we will not be stopped.
it's not just to bring their shields up. I think... They're activating the station. They're trying to bring the Solanae through. You mean just... Got it! Core shields down. Hit him now! Detecting a power surge! I have their main computer. They're still trying to start the conversion process, but their shields are completely down. Okay, let's blow up this thing and head home. We're being pulled in. Evasive maneuvers. I found something interesting in the computer system before the station blew. It's coordinates for another sphere. And this one looks to be very strategically important. It might even be a secondary hub for the Iconian Gateway Network. I grabbed everything on it I can find. I'll transmit the files to Captain Cogren at Alliance Command. Maybe he can get a team together to investigate. The station is destroyed, and we've completed our mission. But not without paying a price. Weston was a talented engineer and a damn fine pilot. He may not have wanted to be in Starfleet, but there was a time I didn't think I was Starfleet material either. Sometimes rebels make the best officers. We know our duty. We just have our own way of getting it done. Exactly. It's been a pleasure flying with you. Maybe we can do it again sometime before this thing ends. Consider yourself an honorary member of Delta Flight. Losing Weston is regrettable, but we needed a victory today. Thanks to you, we have won. Defeating a Herald Dreadnought is a significant achievement. Destroying their station and keeping the Solanae locked in subspace is even more valuable. The number of ships and soldiers we have is finite. We cannot allow the Iconians to have a numerical advantage as well as a technological one. I will examine the files Lieutenant Commander Paris managed to recover from the Herald computers. Perhaps a strike on this space she found will be our next move. The war continues. And all of our warriors are needed to fight. The Empire requires your assistance with a covert mission deep in Iconian territory. 